What's up guys? It's Rustin from Rossmart Tech. How are you guys doing? I'm doing well. Hopefully you guys are doing well today too. Now in this video, we're going to try something pretty cool. We're going to test out ChatGPT 3.5 API. Now uh, the API, we're going to use a Python program to connect to the API and we're going to use ChatGPT 4 to write the code for us. So let's get started. Before we do anything, uh, you got to make sure you have a ChatGPT account and uh, make sure you're con connected to the API and then you create an API key. So this is ChatGPT. It's uh, pretty much free, but there is a paid version. I have the paid version. And with the paid version, you're allowed to use GPT-4 right now and test it out. But you can use it for free. And then, uh, th but the free version will allow you to use GPT-3.5. So this is the API uh, page right here. I already signed up for mine. You should sign up for yours. And then you could create your own key here. Click on this button to create a new key. So once you click on this and uh, you hit, uh, you got to hit save, right? So this is the new key. So I'm going to delete all these keys. These are my keys, by the way. So I'm going to delete all of them. So once this video is up, you won't be able to use these keys anymore. So when you create a new key, you're just going to hit copy because uh, when you hit OK, you're not able to view that key anymore. So click on OK. You can only view the last like four digits of the key. Or then to get rid of the key, you could delete the keys. But that's how you create a key. Once you've created a key, copy that key. You're going to use it in the next couple of steps. So now what we're going to need to do is I'm using ChatGPT4 because I have the, I'm paying for it, but you can use ChatGPT 3.0 to do this as well. So I'm going to write, write Python code that connects to GPT 3.5 API to create a uh, personal assistant program. So basically, I asked it to create the Python code that connects to GPT uh, 3.5 API to create a personal assistant or, per, or personal assistant program. So basically, uh, we're going to tap into uh, this program using an API, and uh, we're going to be able to do a lot of the stuff that ChatGPT can do on our own program. So I'm going to hit the enter right here, and it's going to create that right now. So basically, I already have that done, so you don't have to wait for this to uh, finish writing the code. I already have this deck code written and I tested it out and it does work. So this is the code here and I'm going to leave this code in the GitHub link. So you'll see that GitHub link if you want to test it out yourself. That code, I'm going to delete my uh, API key. So when, when you see the code, yours is going to look something like this with a missing API key. All you would have to do is paste yours. So once you pasted your key, all you have to do is hit run. So once you hit run here with the right key, it's going to right here on the bottom. See where the terminal is here. It's asking you to type something. So it says you are, uh, you know, it ran the program. So I'm going to ask it to. Uh, who is Justin Bieber? Who's Justin Bieber? I don't know if I spelled it right. Uh, okay, it says Justin Bieber is a Canadian singer, songwriter, and actor. You know, you, it's just like a, it's getting random information from online, or it's using ChatGPT system to get that information. So you could ask it to, to uh, right. Plus plus code to print hello world. I just asked it to write C plus plus code to print hello world. And it's gonna write it right here. So it's everything's done in the terminal. If you guys want, you don't have to use this on Python. You can use this on C. You can use this on Java, you can use this on JavaScript. Anything that can connect to that uh, open AI API will work. So again, if you want to create a, a React native app or a, a React app or just a web web app. Or if you want to create a iOS app or Android app, you could connect to uh, ChatGPT by using its API. So it's pretty cool. So I figured this video, I show you this because a lot of people might, uh, some people might be discouraged and think it's hard to connect with an API. It's really simple, especially now with AI powered stuff like ChatGPT. It just makes your life so much simpler and easier. But yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. If you guys like this video, please give me a like. If you want more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel. I'm Rustin from Rosberg Tech, and thank you guys for watching.